Welcome back to graph interpretation for grade 11. In the next few lessons, we're going to discuss nature of roots within graph interpretation. Before we go to the first example, I would like to discuss with you a few important principles. Whenever you hear the word roots, it means solutions. Many times people think that roots only refer to x-intercepts. It is true, but that is not the only, uh, only time we use the word roots. So roots, therefore, refers to solutions. And there are three cases that I would like to discuss with you. Let's look at case number one. So like I said, there are three cases. And the first one is when fx is equal to zero. Now, when fx is equal to zero, you will agree this refers to x-intercepts. And if we draw a little parabola, it means the roots are the x-intercepts. That is where the graph intersect the x-axis. So this is the first case. The second case, which we're going to get within these examples, is when we have fx equal to k, where k represents a constant. Now, for example, if I have a parabola, then a horizontal line will be y equal to k. So that is fx, that is your function. So this fx represents your function. k is a horizontal line. So it's the line y equal to k. And depending on the question, we're going to draw the horizontal line either for two roots or we're going to draw it on the turning point. That will give us only one root or one solution. Or when we draw it below the turning point, we will get no solutions or therefore no real roots. The third case that we have is when we have fx equal to gx. Now, you hopefully recognize this as the points of intersection of two functions. So, for example, if I've got a parabola and a straight line, then fx is equal to gx right at the point of intersection of the two graphs. And we use simultaneous equations within these. Now, these three cases we are going to discuss within the following examples. Thank you.